Hello everyone, this is just a quick video to explain what a polarising filter is and what it can do for your photography. So first of all, what is polarised light? Light travels around in little waves and there are millions of them just bouncing around in all different directions coming into our eyes or the camera. And different surfaces will reflect that differently. Uh, certain surfaces such as glass or water, reflective things mainly, will reflect the light and it will polarise the little waves all in one direction. And that's what causes glare in photos. So if you look at this photo, you'll see the leaves are quite shiny and reflective and there's glare coming off those. And that just doesn't look good. In a moment, I'll show you what that looks like with a polarizer and it's much nicer. So a polarizing filter is essentially two pieces of glass which are held together in a little frame where you can rotate them and you can rotate one piece of glass over the other, making it perpendicular to each other. And that stops polarized light in a particular direction getting through the lens and into the camera and can really reduce that glare that you get in pictures that I just showed you. And if you compare, this is with polarized light and this is without. And you'll see without the polarized light it looks much better, much cleaner, more matte, less of that glare and just nicer to look at. Um, so you can get different size polarizers. This is a 72 millimeter, but I've got different ones. You can also get systems where you have a holder that fits onto the end of your lens and you can slot square filter, square polarizer filters or different ND filters into that holder. Uh, that can be cheaper overall because you're not having to buy lots of different sizes, but it's quite a lot of money up front. Circular ones like this uh, that just screw into the threads on the end of your lens tend to be cheaper by themselves, but yeah, you've got to buy lots of them for different sizes. And the other thing to note is that a polarizer will also work a little bit like an ND filter, um, just maybe like a one or two stop ND filter. So it will stop a little bit of the light coming into your, your lens and you'll have to compensate for that with aperture or ISO or exposure compensation or something like that. So to illustrate what a polarizing filter does, take a look at this animation. If you imagine a 3D world where you have a Z axis indicating the direction that the light wave will travel and an X axis which indicates the up and down vertical plane and a Y axis indicating the left and right horizontal plane. And then we introduce the light wave, which is traveling forwards along the Z axis. So if we introduce the polarizing filter, you'll see that for illustrative purposes, the center of the filter has these lines, which are like bars. And at the moment, those bars are aligned vertically, parallel with the X axis. And the light wave is also aligned vertically, parallel with the x-axis. So that means that the light wave can go between the bars and through the filter. But if we rotate the filter so that the bars are now horizontal and parallel with the y-axis, the light wave can no longer pass through because the light wave is still vertical and the bars are horizontal. And that is how polarized light is blocked from going through the filter and into your camera lens. Other light can be in different directions. So in this case here, it's in the horizontal plane. And so that can pass through the filter now. And so polarized light is blocked, other light is not blocked. And that's what gives the effect of the glare being removed from your photos. And if we just rotate the filter back, you'll see it lets the light wave through again. So why not experiment with polarizing filters in your own photography? There's loads of different brands out there and different price points, and you don't need the most fancy or expensive one to get started. And it can really make a difference in your photography, particularly if you're taking pictures of wet surfaces or reflective things, water, glass, and it can also help to saturate skies and things like that. So I hope you found that useful. Hit the subscribe button down here if you want to see more videos like this. I'm posting every Wednesday and Sunday, and hopefully I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.